Hello, I'm Keith Ford and welcome to another edition of From the Vault. In 1901, Winchester engineer T.C. Johnson patented a self-loading semi-automatic blowback rifle. And in 1903, that went into production as the Winchester 1903. It was chambered in 22 Winchester, which was a smokeless cartridge where the rest of the 22 cartridge, rimfire cartridges at the time were black powder. So Winchester knew that using black powder in a semi-automatic rifle was just not going to work because it would gum up the system and be trashed before long. So they had this little short, stubby 22 cartridge. And that did pretty good for several years until 1910 whenever smokeless rimfire cartridges came out. Then everything really changed in 1924 whenever Remington brought out the Model 24, which was a Browning design semi-automatic rifle chambered for the 22 rimfire long rifle. So that kind of put Winchester behind the eight ball for a while. But then in 1933, they updated the 03 to the Model 63. And this is what it what this is right here. It's chambered in 22 long rifle. And these are super neat little guns. It's a concealed hammer. Loads through the buttstock right here. And then there's a weight underneath here that kind of counterbalances the bolt. Now we'll do a quick takedown of it. Now the rifle is actuated by this little rod up front. Make sure that that is nothing in there. That's good. Now the way that you take this down, unscrew this back here. And that breaks apart just like that. Now you'll see the hammer right here. And just drops like that. Then whenever the bolt comes back, that actuates the cartridge release right here. And here's your feed ramp. It's a really ingenious little design. Now Winchester would produce Model 63 from 1933 to 1958, whenever it was just quietly phased out. There was no big, we're stopping production of this gun. It was just one here one year, gone the next. Uh, main reason on that was because it was getting expensive to produce and Winchester was looking at different manufacturing methods and stuff, but kind of sad because these are fantastic little guns. Now, this particular gun, which is mine, I bought this and someone at the time had actually branded, burnt their initials into this right here. So I redid the forearm and kind of matched up the stock for which it had been chewed up and beat up bad. And whenever I redid it, I just didn't want it to look like a new gun. I mean, this is a 60 plus year old gun and I want it to look like how it should if it had been used, you know, decently and not mistreated. The metal was great, just the wood was beat to death. And it more than likely had been drugged through some barbed wire fences and shot numerous times out in the field and stuff. And But I went through, redid the stock, steamed out the, the burn marks, the compression marks here. Still had one show back up after I put the lens speed oil on. But overall, I think it turned out pretty decent for a little $250 rifle. But yep, that is my Winchester Model 63 that I'm really proud of. Now, do you have a Winchester 63, or what's your experience with this fantastic little Winchester 22? Be sure and drop us a line, and while you're at it, smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. <laughs>